Continuing coverage out of Lucky Peak now, the man believed to have drowned Sunday found by an underwater search and recovery expert. Here's CBS 2's Angela Kerndall with more on that search. Gene Ralston says one of the people on the boat happened to get a photo just moments before the man drowned. They were able to get GPS coordinates from that photo. Ralston says they estimate the man was found about 150 feet away from those coordinates. What was supposed to be a weekend getaway with family at Lucky Peak ended in tragedy. Deputies say the 35 year old man jumped into the lake to help his kids who'd been riding tubes that flipped over. Officers say the kids had life jackets on, but he did not. He went under and never came back up. Deputies say the water is 68 degrees at the surface. You get that take your breath away sensation when you enter the water. That temperature differential is quite a shock to the body and it, it can actually close up your epiglottis and you can't breathe whether you wanted to or not. Recovery efforts had been on pause until today. The soonest underwater search and recovery expert Gene Ralston could get to Lucky Peak. The Ada County Sheriff's Office says because of OSHA rules, their divers can't go deeper than 100 feet. That's where Ralston and his wife Sandy's expertise and equipment come in. They've been recovering bodies across the U.S. and Canada since 1983. This recovery is their 131st. Ralston explains how the sonar technology works. The system we use is housed in a heavy torpedo shaped object that we tow 10 or 15 feet off the bottom. Therefore, the source of the sound or think of it as light, it illuminates the bottom and then it processes the return reflection signal into a plan view of the bottom. Anything that has some height to it has a shadow behind it, which is very distinctive in the case of a, a drowning victim. Once the body is located, the remote operated vehicle uses claws to grab onto the body and it's pulled up. In this case, the body was found about 170 feet below the surface. Ralston says this kind of work never gets easy. When you go up, walk up the boat ramp and tell the family you're bringing their loved one home, there's no feeling like it. And I think that's what drives it. Ralston says he survived two boats crashes in his life. I was extremely lucky that he didn't drown and you know I just can't imagine my parents, my friends, um, anybody else involved uh, going through life without being able to find me. His message for people who get into the water. Be sure you have your life jacket on period. Ralston expects he'll be doing this work for the remainder of his life. The man leaves behind a wife and five young children. Reporting at Lucky Peak, Angela Kerndall, CBS 2 News.